Hey guys, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. We are back. I am back. I am back today to do part two of our paper doll house that we're making with wooden boards. All right, so if you did not see part one, I will link it, link it in the description below. But in part one, we took our wooden boards. We, hold on, I'm gonna show you one. We, we painted, we did a background, and I guess that's, and Mod Podge, I Mod Podge everything. So today, we're gonna take our, oh, I hit everything. Today, we're gonna take the wooden boards, we are going to um, embellish uh, the, the rooms just a little bit, like with ribbon and some leftover material and then, and some stickers. And then we are gonna glue the four squares together and we are going to attempt to, I'm gonna attempt to turn it over and I'm gonna try and staple them together too, just to give it some extra strength and we're gonna put the roof on and the hangers and we'll see, oh, and we have to make the paper dolls. All right, so there's a lot to do. So I'm not gonna jibber jabber. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, Gabby says hi. Um, please consider liking, subscribing to the channel, and uh, sharing with your friends, and that's it. Let's get down to the table. Okay. I do apologize. I have lots of projects going on right now. So there's some stuff on the side. There's some stuff on the side, but let's get to it. All right. So this, this is probably not the best one, but let's go ahead and start. This is the bedroom. Uh, the only problem I had was I did find that um, some of my backgrounds wrinkled a little bit with the glue and then the Mod Podge on top, but oh, well, it, will live. All right. So this is my door that I want to be the closet. So I want the clothes to be on the inside. Oh, look, I got paint. I want the clothes to be on the inside. So I just wanted to be able to open. I did Mod Podge this too, to give it some, um, strength. All right. And I used red line tape. This is a double stick tape. You can get it at, uh, Dollar Tree. You can also get it at Michael's. You can get it all over the place. Hobby Lobby. Uh, and it's a pretty sturdy double stick tape. That's why I'm using it. Okay.
Okay, so I played with this a little while. Um, I tried using hot glue. I don't like that. It gave it too much bulk and then it didn't fit together. So we're just using wood glue. We're going to put it, you can see I've already, this is, this is round two. All right, so we're going to put the wood glue on. We are going to squish it together. For some reason, this one does not go together as closely as my other one did. All right, now I'm going to turn it over. I guess I should have just turned it over and then the wood glue. All right. And then I took my stapler. Made sure my edges were flush here. And I took my stapler and I just stapled. This is just to give it a little bit more support. Uh, oops, I missed. All right, so now we're going to carefully turn it over. Like that. I am going to take my rag that I've already lost. There it is. And we're going to wipe down the excess glue right there. And then I'm going to take my clamp. So if you have something, something to help hold this together while it dries, that would be really good. Okay, so we're not going to go too, too tight, but enough. All right, and that's going to keep it together. All right, so just so you can see, I did the upstairs already. And there it is right there. And then after this dries, then I will do the same process, connecting upstairs and downstairs. Isn't it cute already? I'm so excited. So while we're waiting for glue to dry, uh, let's get our paper dolls set up. I ran the paper dolls, I printed them on cardstock, and then I added I'm going to glue them here on more cardstock, like just some thick stuff I had in the back. And then I'm going to run it through my laminator, my personal laminator. If you don't have a laminator, then clear packing tape works great or clear contact paper. And so the whole point is just to kind of make these paper dolls last just a little bit longer than they did say when I was a kid. So um, we're going to do that right now, and I am going to use the Scotch Create stick glue because it less chance of um, wrinkling happening. Though so, you know, obviously, if you use a thicker paper like the cardstock, things do not wrinkle as much as thinner paper. So when you add some, you know, moist glue on top. So anyway, um, all right, I'm going to do that. And then after this goes through the laminator, um, I'm just going to cut it out. And I will be back after that process because we are going to add some Velcro to both our paper dolls and to our dollhouse. All right, be back in a few. For now, I have two dolls and three outfits each. I, I do have more that I can run through, but I'm not worried about it right now. I just want to get my bases set up. Um, so, of course, they're both on 
cardstock you could do like a color coding system of what like I don't think this fits her I might have to cut out one more yeah I might have to cut out a different dress that's for a different doll the strange thing about this set that I bought is it had five dolls and then like five pages of clothes but the clothes are all mixed up so <laughs> um, it was kind of crazy and so there you see it just fits her like that okay and so I will cut out one more dress this one probably to fit her so when you're cutting out you do not need to worry about the tabs because we are connecting with velcro now if you change your mind and you want to do something else you can if you don't have velcro you can use sticky back tape like double stick tape I don't think that came out right um, okay, so this one I'm going to put off to the side because it's really not ready. Uh, it's for a different doll. Alright, so this is the Velcro I purchased. And in this Velcro, you have the soft side dots. And you have the male part, but it's clear. So anything that's going to show that's where this will go so um, so we will put this on the front of our doll and I'm going to do it right in the center of her body and then we are going to take and this is how I usually do this so you see you can't even hardly tell that it's on there and I usually just take the uh, the female velcro and then I line everything up and I press down and there you go now there's a little bit of space but my kids haven't seemed to bother and this this helps them play with the dolls better they don't have to worry about the tabs and and getting the uh, pieces to fit um, our, our little girls are young yet so they like playing but you know not necessarily have the motor skills to completely handle a paper doll so we just help them out just a little bit all right there you go and the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this female velcro and we're going to put it on the back of our dolls. And the reason we're going to do that is so that our paper doll can go all around the house. All right. And here you go. All right. So our paper dolls are ready. They are ready for their little house. Let me turn the... Um, <laughs> the the uh, laminator off. I'm going to move this out of the way. I tried to use a different light so that you wouldn't get all this reflection. And you know what? That didn't help either. All right. So when I come back, we have two things to do. We are going to make the roof for our dollhouse and we're going to put the Velcro in our dollhouse. I think we're going to do the Velcro first. So let me get everything on the table and put this where I don't lose it because the house has turned to be a pretty big size. So let me move everything out of the way and I will be right back. All right, look at it. And it, it's, it seems to be pretty stable, held together. All right, so our job right now is to look our little, our little people. Oh, and look, they can go to bed in the bed. All right, so let's think about where we need we had five pieces pieces of clothes clothing right should have made like an outline for the closet what it goes to this all right so as of right now i'm just going to put maybe six pieces of velcro and let's see if the clothes fit in there yeah look at that see and it's in the closet I could definitely put more than six, and I probably will, 
but this is just to get me started. This is something I can definitely add to. Where are, here, there's one outfit. I should have one more. All right, so that's my closet for my clothes to fit in. And if I wanted to, I could even put a piece of Velcro right here to keep the door closed. All right, so for my baby, for my uh, doll to go to sleep, I'm going to put a couple of pieces of Velcro there. Let's see, in the bathroom, I'll put, I'll put a piece in the bathtub. I'll put a piece... <laughs> by the commode and that could also be her standing up to brush her teeth um, in the living room I will put a, some on the chair I will put some on this cute little stool I will put two pieces here there we go and in the kitchen velcro right here so you can sit at the table and I'm even going to put some velcro I think right here so they can stand at the stove we'll see how that works and again this is something I can add to as my girls are playing with it or and my and my grandsons they like the paper dolls too all right so I did put two so we had a little bit of a some option there all right so there's our velcro for our paper dolls here she's gonna go to bed all right all right so now it's on to the roof and I, again I have to get set up because this is taking up so much room um, I'll be right back all right so this is where we're at here's our house I took my two paint sticks the extra long ones and I cut them to 15 inches and then I basically <laughs> just hot glued the two pieces together here and then I hot glued them to the edges now do I think that this is very totally stable no but it's just a decorative piece because I'm gonna hang it from this portion this is gonna be kind of a backing and all I did was stick two pieces of scrapbook paper underneath, traced it, and cut them out. And then I will glue them onto when we turn it over. I will glue this on the back. Now, that gives me like this little attic space up here. If you wanted to make another room, you could make a room. You could use it for storage. You could, I mean, it, it's not that wide, don't get me wrong. But I even thought about putting just the little like, banister up here so that I could store some paper dolls or whatever behind it but I'm probably just going to use a cute envelope and just put them in there maybe an envelope that kind of looks like a storage trunk and then I can store some things in there you know kind of go with the attic theme all right I'm going to turn it over I do have to turn the camera off to do that because it's big enough I hit everything so I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna attach a string to hang it with we're gonna glue this on I tried stapling these this board onto different pieces and my stapler is just too um, light duty to handle it so I can't I can't staple it on but I'm gonna see I'm going to see what happens when I turn it over. That'll be the decision. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, picture of the back. Let's see. Here's my, my uh, background. And I'm going to put that on first. Make sure I am covering everything. I might have to trim some more. I can tell you I do. And then... I will put my um, my string right here I, I told you before in the video I'm hanging this up using command strips because I don't want to put holes in the wall in the back room yet but you could do like picture hanger um, those little brackets the picture you could do that you could do a bunch of different ways to hang it up on your wall um, 
I'm just going to do the string method right now. So, um, and I was kind of worried about, oh, I have one more thing we have to do too. All right, so let's, let me stop talking and repeating myself. one more thing we're going to use some felt adhesive backing uh, this <laughs> is to protect my walls because I think that um, when you're playing with the doll and you pull and then place that might cause some rocking and I really don't want that don't want the wall just, you know, bouncing. All right, so there's our house. Here's our roof. Here's our bedroom. Let's see where you can open it up and there's our closet. Here's our little paper doll. She can go, can go potty. Here's our bathroom with our bathtub and our shower curtain. Here's our living room. And here's our kitchen. And I'm gonna back up and give you a full view. So what do you think? I think it's scrumptious. I love it. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for this two-part video. I so appreciate it. I really hope you like it. Say bye to Gabby. All right, and I'm gonna let you go now. Y'all have a great day. Bye.